Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the 123 convertible doll bunk bed with three baskets. Now the colors may vary, but the assembly will be the same. If you're missing any pieces or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. Let's get started. For step one, you will need part A, which is a double side. You will need four of the part C rails and four of the G screws. So first what we're going to be doing is putting on the rails onto the side, part A, which is the double piece. You're going to see a side that has the two holes in each of the four spots here. That'll be the inside where the rails will be coming off of. When looking at the rails, you're going to see on the ends that there is a dowel, a hole, and then this groove on the inside. The dowel needs to go to the top, the screw hole will go to the bottom, and the groove to the inside of the bunk bed. Like that. So dowel on top, screw hole on the bottom, groove to the inside. And we'll put in a screw through the back here to hold it in place. And I'm going to put on the other side right away here. So the dowel on top, screw hole on the bottom, and the groove to the inside so that these grooves line up going across. So to put these in place, we're going to screw from the back side here. And for this assembly, what I'm going to be using is a drill. If you choose to also use a drill, make sure that you have the torque settings on low so that you don't strip any of the pieces. Otherwise, feel free to use a hand Phillips screwdriver. So now what we're going to be doing is putting on the other two rails, repeating the same thing on the top two sections here. Remember, groove to the inside, dowel on top, and the screw hole on the bottom. So dowel on the top here. We'll put the screw in through this side here and screw these top two into place. For step two, you will need part A, the double side. You will need two of part D, which are the bottom panels, and four of the G screws. So what we'll do first is put in the bottom panels. Now if you align these grooves to be facing towards each other correctly, they should be able to slide right into place. To make this easier, I'm going to put this up on its side here so I can just slide the panels right down. For these panels, you'll notice one side is gray, one side is brown. Gray we want facing towards the top. So I'll put in this one first so they can go right into those grooves. Slide all the way down and do the same thing on this one. Once you have the panels in place, what we're going to be doing is putting on the last side. Again, the two holes here will align with these rails, the top hole being the dowel and the bottom hole being that screw hole. So what I'm going to do is just lay this right on top, put all those dowels into place, and screw all of these down. For step three, you will need part B, the single side, two of part C, the rail, and two of the G screws. So for this step, we're going to be doing what was similar to the last step except onto the single side. So again, the top hole is meant for a dowel, bottom hole for the screw, which we will align these side rails into. Again, remember, groove goes to the inside. I'll put a screw through the back here. And then we'll put this one into place. Dowel on top and groove to the inside. And I'll screw these into place. So 
For step four, you will need part D, the bottom panel. You will need part B, the single side, and two of part G screws. So what we're going to be doing is the same as before, where we're going to be sliding in that bottom panel. Again, remember, if your groove's aligned, it should slide in very nicely. I'm going to tip it up on its side, gray side facing towards the top, and we're going to slide it in the grooves. And all the way down. And the same as before, I'm going to be putting in the end panel. Remember, has the two holes go towards the inside because they align with the dowel and the screw hole on each of the bed rails. So I'm going to put these right on, aligning those dowels into place. And putting in the screw on both sides. For part five, you will need four of the part F's, which are the connectors, and four of the screws. For this part, what we're going to be doing is putting the connectors onto each of the four posts of the single bed. Now when looking at these connectors, you'll see a side that has a notch out and a hole above it. That's going to be facing towards the inside of each of the four posts. So when looking at this one, for example, the hole will be facing this way and the notch will correspond with the headboard. When looking inside, you're going to see a line in the inside. That's as far down as you have to push it, which is about halfway. So we'll put it on, push it down, so it's on there about halfway. So when looking in there, it's flush with that groove that's on the inside of each of those connectors. So I'll put on the next one where again the notch goes to the footboard here and the hole is above it and push that down and the same thing on the other two. Now what we're going to be doing is putting the double bunk bed on top of that. These holes are going to align with holes that are in the legs of the, the double bunk bed. So when looking at this here, you can see this hole here will align with this hole here. So when you push it down, make sure all those holes are aligned in each of the corners so that you know that it's down far enough. So I'll we'll just gently push that down so it's nice and snug. Next what we're going to do is put these smaller screws that will go into each of those holes which will align with the hole that's in the bunk bed leg. And we'll screw all four of these into place. For step six, you will need three of part H, which is the basket and the bottoms, and you will also need three of part E's, which are the padded mat and pillows. So first what we're going to do is assemble the baskets. We'll open each of the baskets up, and we'll put the bottom inserts into them firmly so that the baskets are held in place. Open up the next one the bottom in, and same with the third. These baskets fit right under the triple bunk bed, like so. Lastly, what we'll be doing is putting on the padded mats onto each of the bunks. and the doll pillow to go with each. A great feature about the 123 convertible bed is since we screwed in these connectors into this top bunk bed, it stays connected here, but it can come apart from this bottom one. So you can just push up on each side here, push up on the other side as well, and it can come apart. So this way you have a bunk bed and a single bed for your doll's needs and then you can restack them and enjoy. 
And that concludes the assembly for the 123 convertible doll bunk bed with three baskets. Remember, if you have any questions, to contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. Otherwise, enjoy!